general relativity step by step. Last time I talked about this little formula here which represented the fact that the distance now, which I used in scare quotes, was actually increasing. Uh, according to a product of the Hubble expansion, A of t, Hubble expansion, multiplied by a co-moving distance, co-moving r. And I'm just going to spend a little bit of time talking about what that means. Here's a galaxy. There, that's my galaxy. That's me sitting there. And here's an elliptical galaxy with a little alien sitting on it. There he is. And um, this is at t equals 1. And he's got a particular distance. Let's say that's r equals 1. Here's another galaxy spinning the other way around with another little alien on it. There he is. He has got r equals 2. Now time goes by, and of course he's receding because of the expansion of the universe, and this guy is receding faster. He's going twice as fast because he's twice as far away, as indeed this formula would, would, would predict. So at t equals 2, let's say, we've got me again. The galaxy's moved a little bit further away. This one's moved away as well, but he's still at r equals 1. So this, the fact that this galaxy is at rest is explained or quantified, or it's the same statement as at rest equals r is constant. And that's a nice feature that we want our coordinate system to have. Things that are at rest have constant r. Okay? Of course, rn is increasing. And of course, Rn equals R times A of T. I guess we could differentiate it and say that Rn dot equals uh, R A dot of T. Because, of course, R is constant for any particular galaxy. There's quite a lot going on here. This is quite a difficult, um, a quite, quite a difficult, um, quite a difficult set of concepts. The co-moving distance. So difficult, I'm going to stop there before I cock it up. Stop.